Hey, it's Brian Lutter. Welcome back to Rome to the War by Burn Invasion of the Celts. If you call last time, we uh, didn't really do that much. We basically were just getting ready for continued assaults. Um, started taking this region here. Then some crazy alliance shifting went on. And we were halted. But uh, got an army going towards the Burgundia. And we're going to wage war with them. They got quite a bit of territory, actually. So, I'd like to take that for myself. And there's this rebel territory over here. So if we take out, I don't know, these five, you know, we got we got enough territory with that. Plus we're gonna take this out. We'll probably end up maybe with about 20 territories. Um, yeah, I probably won't go too long on this campaign. I'll probably just try to beat the campaign. Simply because, well, Rome 2 is coming out tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to want to be playing that as soon as possible. Berbers are going to... Where are you at, boy? I'd like to know what you're up to, actually. If that's possible. Oh, so you took out Carthage, it looks like. And it looks like there's a Roman Western Rebels there. Interesting. So, a new family guy. Is it this guy? Where is he? He's in our capital, isn't he? Yeah. That's okay. No, he's over here. Oh no, Cat's sitting out here because uh, he's a horrible. <laughs> I forgot about that. Slaves and Sarmatians. Or Slaves and Sarmatians went to war. That's interesting. Should keep them away from us. And that stuff there. Ooh. 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 Oh, really? 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 Okay, great. So, <clears throat> not only did he die. But here comes a large Roman army. So, do we have any family members in the area that are willing to lead? You are already. Oh my god. We need these people over here. I thought I had some ships. I do. You can always train another boat. Not the end of the world, so we'll train another boat. And get our family members going down there, and computers being a little mean to me. But a little layered. But a little layered. So, yeah. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if we could get a ceasefire with the Romans. Would they be willing for that at all? No. I don't think so. Uh, if they were willing, I would totally take that up because I don't like that big army there. Or oh, the fact that I don't have a general. Anywhere close to that area. Like, anywhere. Like, there's literally no general anywhere around here. At least this guy is decently old. But, uh, anyway, let's go to war with the Burgundia. War declared. I don't think anybody really cares about them. Oh. I guess they do. Well, it's fitting that we go to war with them, actually, then, because they're allies with the Romans. So that's going to make the Romans want to declare a peace with us even less. Good. And, uh, ooh. Ooh, there's a guy we could kill there. Looks like a And we sabotaged 100 men hall. Nice. Bonus points. So we're the siege here. How is our army looking? Here, we're still training stuff. Um, what do we got? We need some more... Ranged assault. We don't have the ability to train range assault here, so we'll just train. Yeah, we'll we'll do that, and then I think we'll probably go and attack the Vandalia. I think that would be wise. Yeah, maybe we'll get a uh, good old cat to come as well, because he's not that bad. <clears throat> of an actual general. So we'll get this guy and Cat to come down. Start leading some stuff. But uh, for now, uh, looks like we're going to have to fight these guys in the open field because we do not have siege equipment, I don't think. Oh, we do! Oh, so we could... We could just yoink bury this settlement real quick. Yeah, I think that would be smart. What? Really? Really? Are you gonna make me lose that many men? It's ridiculous, man. Oh, 
Yay. Alright, so that, that turned out worse than expected, but I'd rather, I'd still rather fight with a uh, captain in a city like this than fight outside the city without a captain. So, we're going to be training some troops. Let's train some of these, get rolling, start training some more troops, because we're going to need some more. So, I might as well get him going. But uh, I think that's all we're going to do for this turn. So we can save and end it. The turn that is. And hopefully the Romans are just going to come up and attack our city. Be smart like that. That'd be good. Um, gosh dang, that auto manage though. Not expecting. Got to pay an. Ooh. You know what? I'm fine with that. I know you're about to die and all, but. Uh, <clears throat> you are fighting the uh, Burgundii Force. And hopefully this is like the last Roman army. Although I doubt it. And uh these users are just gonna chill here. Okay. Alright. And Franks are in our territory, so we probably wanna deal with that as soon as possible. So Goths are allies of the Romans too, dang. Romans are getting a bunch of allies. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. The second level, and all those are repairs, so that, that's that's looking fine. Um, we do have a large force here, don't we? You know, orders, <clears throat> chief. March. I know I usually despise using captains, but I really want to just take out this guy here before he causes any trouble. I think that would be most most worthwhile. Um. Let's build a spy here. A couple of Pictish Spear Garrison. Uh, spy, gonna help us out by exploring Vandal territory for us. So. That's what he's gonna do. And come down here. How old is Cat? How old is my Cat? 24? Okay, so. Pretty young commanders. Which will be good for us. And we'll see if they try to defend with anything. I feel like they probably. Yeah, they have pretty good upgrades and stuff. So this could be an interesting little war, but uh, let's try to kill this guy. Yes! Destruction. Nice job. Okay, so that's good. Kill a family member. Kill their economy as well if we can. Yes! Nice. Great market destroyed. Cost minor repair, plus it gets rid of their trade for that turn. So I think that's uh, quite beneficial. I would like to sweep this, just, just sweep this column over here, but... We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how that rolls. Not too sure yet, but uh, he's going to try to make it over here as well. Got some nice uh, summation horse archers, though. Those guys were pretty powerful, so that's cool. Uh, anyway, we'll save and end the turn. Looks like they got some ballistas. Looks like they got a lot of peasants, actually. They may not be too hard to defeat. We'll see. Where was she? Where did the Franks go? Oh, they're over here. But they can't really retreat anywhere, so we should be able to uh, destroy them. Franks are the richest faction. Okay. And Huns are people who own flight. Who took them out? Hopefully it wasn't the Vandals. It was someone. Alright, I don't know who. But, uh... That's a rebel territory now. Okay. Going to Goths. Yeah, so it's just, a, it's just like a bunch of alliances together. Looks like. Kind of not in my favor, because I feel like the Goths are probably stronger than the Lombardi, right? but, yeah. you know, that's fine. <clears throat> I feel like I'm probably self-sufficient enough. What are my allies, anyway? Yeah, I'm allied with the Huns as well. Try allied with the Goths. That's that's the one weird part of the triangle. Actually, I'm curious if... Nope, he's just fighting by himself. Okay. So, let's get some more troops in here first. Because I would like to destroy this army, Attack. if I can. Uh, they do have lots of cav, paladin bodyguards, so this may not end well. And they have two units of, oh my gosh, two units of archers, no! Yeah, it's basically just their bodyguards that I'm worried about, so let's try to kill the Franks here today. 
On Rome Total War. Barbarian Invasion. There's the Celts. <laughs> um, if we can kill these French, I, th I believe these are the last French, so. Just get rid of them. Get them done. Get them gone with. Then we don't have to worry about them taking territory. Coming to a problem later. Because they did declare war on us, so. Or we declared war on them. I don't remember. Away to my orders. Yes. Spear the roller, man. Okay, do you have generals? No, you don't. You have generals. Shoot. How do we want to do this? I'm going to just form up like this. I'm not sure where they're going to start out. They're going to go all the way up there and be annoying. Okay! Okay! Alright, so we'll just walk up here. Walk up, flock up, fly. And uh, let's triple speed it because probably won't be laggy too much. I don't think. Yeah, not too bad. Just boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to play Rome 2 on that high of uh, graphic settings. Maybe medium while recording. So, and that's hopeful. Uh, might not even be that good. I might not be able to really record it at all. We'll see. Hopefully, I can. Because I would like to record it. Seems like a fun game, so. Uh, I have seen somebody's already posted the campaign videos of it. So that's kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to be posting campaign videos for Vi, because I want you guys to vote. Victory. Oh, they... Okay. Alright. We'll see where they go. They'll probably go behind Roman lines. Which is going to be annoying. But, uh... Nope, they're going to retreat this way. Okay, good. We shall good. Oh. Alright, we'll see what they have in their army, but I'll, I'm not going to fight them. Here, there's no point. Uh, yeah, because I don't want two captains to go out against a guy that's decently commanding, actually. So, I would rather not take that risk. But uh, we'll, we'll keep chasing the French. We'll at least chase them out of our territory, if, if not anything else, so... Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have one of these young guys take over for this dude, because he's gonna die anytime. Probably gonna have, uh, Cat take over there. We'll go crush the Vandals. Because, let's see, the Vandals are allied with the Romans, I believe, yes. No, they're en- No, yes, they're allied with the Romans, good. And they're Burgundy, so that would be, yeah, logical next step to attack. And they're sending over a very small force to deal with us. Well, consider me not entertained. Oh, what you missed? Seventy-nine percent, really? All right, you try. Very nice. Toss so another guy dead. Trade increase. Killing agents is always nice. Agents and family members. Um, so we got four turns. We do have a decent amount of berserkers. We lost a lot of our heavy infantry, though, and cavalry during that auto manage, which is always awesome, by the way. Orders. But uh, if they do a siege attack, we do have lots of reinforcements here, so I'm not too worried about that. And their army isn't that scary, to be truthful. They don't have that many hardened legionnaires. They have Grawl Knights, though, and uh, those are a little challenging. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We have 12 regions. Uh, we just need to cut out four. Or we just need to cut out three, don't we? Yeah. We need to cut out, kill three, and then the one over here, so. Yeah. I, th I think we'll be alright. Shouldn't be too bad. An Eastern Empire is going to talk to us. Yeah, we'd like trade rights. You're probably, <laughs> probably never going to trade me map info, though. Hmm. Yeah. No, no, no. That's too much money. Even though I'm interested. Oh, you're just gonna. <sighs> hmm. See, here's the problem. They have a lot of open field versatility, whereas I don't really. So I think I'm just gonna withdraw. I'd rather I'd rather have a general there, like I said. Orders. 
I would really like to have a gun. And he's willing to fight this time again, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, Huns are now at war with the Roman Western Empire. Good, yes, and they broke the alliance. So that he, they're going over there. That's good. I'd like to see that. I know we might be able to take the Vandals out and then take this. That would be pretty interesting, actually. But uh, let's load you up. Unload. I'm actually going to take uh, this army here. I know you're going to get pissed off for a little bit, but that's okay. You'll be fine. A little bit of Pictish Spear Garrison should calm you down. And uh, Cat's going to be moving this way. Eh, might as well. I got plenty of money to spend, so... We'll head down here. <clears throat> I guess we're gonna drop this guy off. Uh, I I wanted I wanted the extra mercenaries to come this way. Maybe I'll come this way as well, like that. Burgundy are just gonna chill here. I guess they're gonna cobble up some forces and then try to fight us, perhaps. But we have a pretty balanced army there. Yeah, I like this army. We don't have any spears though, but I'm not too worried about that. Um. They do have a lot of options for mercenaries, though. In rude health, ooh. Oh! I guess I took that to be... To meaning that he was in bad health, but I guess that means he's in good health. Okay. Surprise me. And uh, hopefully don't attack Vicus El Mini, because uh, that will be bad. Then we're going to have to use our captains. I don't know what the Romans are up to there. We'll see. I know the city's in the red. That's all right. It'll it'll be fine. See, it's already in the, it's already in the blue. And uh, oh, they're gonna attack us. I totally forgot about attacking them. Yeah, well, go ahead and do that. That's what I wanted to do. And now I don't have to worry about the initiative. The initiative is all theirs now, so that works out in my favor. They're gonna have those two archers firing at us. Oh no! But uh, they might actually kill like ten guys, which would be kind of annoying. But. Uh, as long as they're not... Yeah, flaming arrows would actually be a really good use, because I don't think it matters how many guys you have. Flaming arrows are still effective. Morale wise. Oh, this is not a good battlefield, though. River Valley not helping us out. But I think we can just do a similar formation. Uh, just get all our guys kind of... Get our guys thick. And back them up with our heavy inf. And we should be okay. I'm thinking about using Schlindrum. I might. Just because of the number of men we have over them. But they have 150 paladins, which is a little scary, to be honest. So. That's one advantage they got. I will say that. They're just going to go straight for the middle, aren't they? You know, I, I'm, I'm going to Schlindrum these three guys. Right now. So they're, uh. Because <clears throat> that'll make it so they don't die. And then we'll be able to flank them with our mobile, more mobile versions. Because that's the hope. <clears throat> Go deal with those guys real quick. There we go. Spear Warbine charging right into him. Should be able to take him out without too much difficulty at all. And here they go. Are they going to charge him? I'm not sure. There we go. Cut down one of them already. Alright, I'm going to engage them. Alright. <clears throat> I think we'll be okay. Maybe. Probably not. We'll see.
Get right in the back here. Charge him into the rear. Yeah, that's not going too well, is it? Hmm. I guess, uh, <clears throat> maybe Shlim Tron wasn't the smartest move there. But we are cutting through this main body here of Paladins. Although they are doing very well. Pretty even as far as enemies killed and allies killed. Great. Yep, I'm done. I'm done. It would have been better to send the There's no way we're going to win now. <sighs> really? The general just had to die. Just just looks just like that. Good. Great. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> See, this is why this is... Oh, Captains, why do you suck so much? Like, really, he died? Like, come on. There we go, okay, that's what I wanted you to do. Good. Coming for you. And, uh, we'll just slide this way, I guess. Then we'll... Bring these guys up here. They're gonna retrain themselves. Um, Franks may try to attack somewhere, but that's not gonna end well too too well for them. We're the richest faction again. Boop, 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 boop. Return to port, and uh, heretic old British monk disappears. They've been murdered. Hmm. If it says may, it probably means yeah. They definitely shank that boy. Shank that boy. I shanked him. Shanks. Don't have really too much to build. They're not fielding too much there. You need to get some of these forces up from here. Like, look at... Yeah, like... Yeah, like seven units chilling in the city that I'm sure doesn't need to have seven units chilling in it. I can't see their public order, but uh, if I could, I'm sure they would be not that high. Or not that low. Oh, yeah, I uh, forgot about the, um, the old spy. Oops. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh well. Don't care. Don't care, lol. It'll be okay. So, n nice loss there, of course. Always helpful. <sighs> what are you gonna do, though? What are you gonna do? I'm wondering if the Slavs actually took over some of this. Doesn't look like it. No, the Sarmatians are pretty, pretty beefy at this point. So I think they can handle them. Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, still making plenty of cashola. Although we should think about toning down the military production after we complete our armies here. Because, uh, got a little too much military production, I'd say. Orders. So we'll save, and I think we we'll, can just end the turn. Not too much woe. See if the French do anything. Or they sit around twiddling their thumbs. They're going down here. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to get away, really, but I can't really stop them from getting away. So. How much I can do on that front. Uh, take you off for now. In fact, we should probably just start draining those. Because we don't have that many berserkers. And Frank's the richest faction again. Cool. Don't care, man. And we did build the foundry here, so. That's cute. Big Spear Garrison. And, uh, I guess large open sewer wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Vicasel Mini should get some stone walls just in case the Romans break through, but I think we'll be okay, like I said. Not too worried about that army. So. And dang it, they're gonna get away. We had one shot to kill them, and now they're probably gonna take this or something. Something dumb. They're gonna troll. Alright, I'm gonna let them know I'm at war with them. So. Yeah, we're at war with you. 
<clears throat> FYI. And we're coming for it. Ooh, Step Heavy Spearmen. Those are pretty good looking. As far as uh, stats and stuff. Not bad, not bad. But uh, we got uh, Gal Glasses, which are definitely worse. Except uh, when they're Warcry, they might be a little better. I don't know. I damn to you, man. Again, with the units here, what the heck? You're just sitting here with all these units, and your nation is about to fall to Celtic rule. Two turns. I would think... I would think you'd stop that. I think it'd be like, hey, we need to uh, protect ourselves. But uh, he's not doing that, so can't really... don't really know what to say. Actually, do we have enough cav? We don't have any cav. Wow. Wow, we have no cap available. Wow, that's good. <laughs> good planning. Who, 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 who was building these armies? I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I have options as far as uh, doing things. And Vandals are going to talk to us. Um, we give you a ceasefire if. No, I. Don't... Oh, there's no reason for us to give a ceasefire. Do you know and there they are. They're going to uh, try to defend themselves. So they got some barbarian noble cav. Ooh, those are actually really good. And we have no defense against Cav. Uh, we can just out-Cav them, I guess. But, uh, that's about it. Good Spearmen there. Uh, this army has some Lombard Berserkers, which are better than ours. Because, uh, you know, the game hates us. But, uh, Chosen Archers, not bad. Probably Noble Cav. The Raiders are pretty good. All good stuff there. Then we got uh, some more experienced Troopins. Burgundian Lancers, which I think look pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Charge more is going to hurt, too. But uh, I can't see what's in Captain Civilis' army. But uh, let's engage. I think we should be able to handle this. They're all nice and divided for us. So it shouldn't be too challenging. Although, you never know. Underestimating your foe can uh, definitely cost you. So I'll try not to underestimate them too much. Give them the, I'll, give them, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They have a good army. It's just the divided factor is going to hurt them. I feel like that's something that they're gonna not do so much in Rome 2. I hope. Because, uh... Just, just because of the army tradition system and stuff, I, I would think that the AI would be smart enough to say, hey, you know, having some good armies and not separating them would be a good idea. But, I have no evidence to say that the uh, AI is going to be good in the game. So I won't... Say anything the matter. Although it's probably uploaded after games already out, so you guys already know. You'll be like, hey, me, 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 So, cavalry wing of death. Oh my gosh, we have cavalry up the butt. Like, literally, we have so much cavalry. Alright, so how much do we have? I'm going to take these four units. Or, uh, no, 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 no. These three. I'm gonna form up here. These four are gonna go try to deal with somebody that's behind us. The enemy are scared. Over here. They have brought even more men. Oh yeah. Matter, we will count the dead later. Yeah, we'll go skirmish these guys with this cav. And skirmish these guys with this cav. Because we have a lot of cav, we should use it. <clears throat> cavalry is very powerful. So this is where our cavalry went. This guy stole it all. Hmm. Pretty nice, bro. Bro? Bro? And let's see what they got. Looks like they got pretty small little army. Pretty small little German armies. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you guys going? Right there. You know, we shouldn't really have to reform the ranks too much. Pick this crossbow. Should be able to uh, clean these guys up a little bit as well. So, don't worry about that. Let's uh, start moving in. More aggressively. See if they uh, try to fight us with their cavalry. Looks like they're gonna take it. And uh, we're gonna do the triangle method. Can. Ah, yes, they're gonna fall right into it. Good. I was worried that we might have to uh, take some desperate measures and get them away from their spearmen, but uh, wow, they're killing us. Come on. I know it's very hard, but you guys have the same stats, basically. And you can. Sometimes, man, very hard is deceptive. <clears throat> Great. That's gonna hurt. Mm. 
<clears throat> wow, we're th what the heck? What the actual heck? Fourteen twenty six. Fourteen twenty three. How are we losing this many men to this unit? This doesn't make any sense. I don't know, man. Sometimes this game just hates me. Today is one of those days, apparently. I didn't want to have to use my berserkers that early, so I'm not going to. But. Uh, Oh, oh, well, well, why, why? Just, just why? Please explain to me why we're doing that. Instead of more intelligent things. Yep, good job. I know it wasn't quite their fault, but... Still pretty dumb. Um, oh, here comes some Burgundian Lancers. Yeah, let's activate the Barbarian uh, Nukers, as they could be called. Get them rolling over here. And why are you fighting these guys in melee? What? Okay, thanks. Is dead, slain by your brave warriors. Guys, I am. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not ending well. No, we need to get out of here because they have barbarians. Go! Get! Or they have, uh, not Berserkers this time. There we go. No. Why you, Why would you just route? Stop routing. Gosh, dang it. Fight. You have the advantage. Now, these guys will be able to tear them up. These guys, I mean, uh, Barbarians. Why are you... Come on. Come on now. Are we really losing to archers? Come on! This is ridiculous. Can't get anything going. The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our warriors would die rather than run. This is insane. Oh, we got berserkers versus berserkers, though. It's pretty interesting. Watch, I'll lose all my berserkers. To that one unit because because logic all right there we go there's some good stuff check out these archers oh, look it's barbarian noble cavalry of invincibility plus one to invincibility will you hit these guys this Come is on. no longer a battle this mm -hmm. is a hunt no a coward Chase. It's kind of infuriating. Oh, these guys are all dead. You you just routed those guys, didn't you? Didn't you? You just routed them. You've been fighting over here all day and a half. Oh, dang. The crossbows did pretty good, actually. At uh, skirmishing those. Barbarian Noble Cavalry of plus one invincibility. Again. Apparently not dying. Yeah, let's just route. That's sounds good. Well, sorry guys, this is a very disappointing episode, I will say. Um Will you guys get over the- please just kill the archers. I swear, if you have trouble killing the archers, at least they killed the- Really? They're gonna- they're gonna kill my general, aren't they? Why is my general going deeper than the rest of my units? I don't understand. The enemy flee from the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down and slay them all. We're losing the archers in melee. 
kind of. Why are you? Word. We can't kill archers. <clears throat> wow. Victory belongs to the cunning enemy. Our warriors have died for nothing. Sorry guys, I guess I suck today. I don't know what it is. I really shouldn't have lost that one. Can't all be winners, I guess. And what? 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 Okay. I guess they're gonna chase us and uh, try to finish us off, but I don't think that's gonna work. I mean, I kind of expected to lose that battle with the captain, but to lose this battle it just hurts. It just hurts, man. Mostly because our stupid cavalry couldn't take out one unit of enemy cavalry that was the same rank. That's what hurt me the most. Just mentally. Yeah. We do need some spearmen, though. Should probably get some spearmen next time. Luckily, our general did survive, though. And we should be able to win this battle, so... If we lose this battle, I'm gonna rage something fierce because. Oh, look, it's Barbarian Cavalry plus one invincibility. Nice. Watch them take out all of our cavalry. I kid you not. Actually, they do bid us in infantry quite a bit. But, fear not. All right, let's go. Wow, just melt the whole unit. Yeah, what? Great, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Why are you routing the route? Don't route. Gosh dang it, guys, we can still win. Perfectly fine. Just being nub cakes. And look, they're gonna slintrom, and I can't do anything to him. I won't be able to kill him. The enemy warlord shows his worth. Nothing. Any of our warriors would die rather than run. Berserkers <sighs> are gonna go suicide themselves. I was not gonna do anything. Uh, but we do have. I guess these guys did come back from routing a little bit. Because these are the only ones. But, uh, we do have some archers that we can use. I mean, the Berserkers are doing good and all, but we can't really charge that with our cavalry without losing all of them. Actually, we probably could have. I don't know. But we'll just we'll just shoot them, and we should be able to take them down. Probably. Got armor piercing crossbows. There we go. See, see. Sometimes you just gotta shoot people to deal with your problems. But uh, don't don't follow that advice, for life kids. Shooting people is bad. There we go. Enemy flee from the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down <clears throat> Alright, so we won that battle. So we did win a battle this episode at least. A little bit of redemption. At least mentally for me. Wow, you just... just Okay, round two, I guess. Are they just gonna keep doing this? Are they just gonna keep sending their little armies? It's actually kinda entertaining. And then watch the rebels are gonna come attack me. 
because they usually don't attack at all. And they're just gonna come attack and be like, hey, we're your friends, the rebels. And be like, why? All right, so round two. Um, I'm gonna form up over here, actually. Yep. Now we have no berserkers, so it's basically cavalry is our main line here, which is great. That's that's what you want against nations that field a lot of spearmen. But actually, they don't have spearmen, so never mind. Actually, they're pretty darn cavalry weak. Um, so let's let's take advantage of that. I better not waste my infantry in case they attack me again. We did lose all of our berserkers, even though we did win. Didn't retrain any of them, I guess. Which sucks. What can you do against it, though? And these are only lancers. They're not even the uh, OP cavalry. Or the super good cavalry. So, <clears> that's <throat> okay. So, yeah, lessons to learn. B train some spearmen. And uh, make sure to be more careful about your cavalry. I guess we're gonna be at. Oh, then here comes the war dogs. Whatever. Don't care, lol. Wow, who already routed all oh, the war dogs? I was like, who would be routing? There we go. That's what I like to see, guys. Just take them down. See, this is how that other battle should go. We should have been able to crush that unit like, in seconds. But no. Oh, wow. They're just this going to kill 600 of these guys, apparently. Will you give up? The yes. The enemy warlord you. is dead. Slain by your brave warriors. Can we kill archers, though? That's something we couldn't do last time. Hey, look at that. Good for us. All right, <clears throat> so that was a little bit of more redemption. So maybe I'll gain some command traits. It'd be better for next time. But I do have plenty of cash reserves, so I can retrain the army pretty quickly and easily. So it's not like the end of the world that we lost that. But they are coming for us, looks like. And the Romans didn't siege attack good because I didn't want to deal with that this turn, to be fair. Yeah, we're gonna deal with that next time. What? Where are you going? What the heck? What the actual heck? I don't know what to do. All right, so recruitment done there. Agent found. It's fine. Got a great market here. Keep building that. And keep you on there. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll pretty much do it for this episode. And uh, I guess join us next time as we try to succeed a little bit better than we did this time. Hopefully we can actually get something going. I think we'll be okay, though. Not too worried about it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next episode when all that and more doth happen. Zero's Brain Lord signing out, saying, have a wonderful day and eat some pizza pie.